in the line. So today I am working on some magnets that I want to get finished. I have about a hundred cabs here. Hi guys. So I'm all by myself, so I have to keep watching the screen. Sorry. <laughs> Ellen's trimming bushes and I'm sure you'll be hearing that too. So I've got all these cabs that I glued last week and I'm gonna be making magnets out of them. He may pop in and join us in a little bit. He's getting his husband stuff done. Hello, hello, hello. So these are all 25 mil cabs that I was gluing. They're very pretty. So I thought I'd work on a few of these and I have some tiles that coasters I wanna finish up. And I thought if anybody has questions, Hi, Shell. So, it's okay, Shell. I wasn't planning on having a mod here today. I have my mouse right here if I need to get rid of somebody, but... <laughs> Dina's sitting in her tree stand. Aww. That's awesome. Peace and serenity. We all need that sometimes. So I'm just nipping off edges. I'm going to cut out a few of these and then I'm going to put them on the magnets so you can see how I do them. Um, I do have these magnets in my Amazon shop. And the nice thing with these, you don't have to glue them. These have a sticker on them. I have one cut here and I'll just show you real quick. So just peel off that top label and just pop this on here. But when you're doing it, you want to make sure your fingers are exactly the same. Because once you get them on there, you can't move them. But that's all there is to it. And they stick really tight. I sent some of these to my mom and she said they work great. Uh, these are on waterproof photo paper that I buy on Amazon. I also have that in my Amazon shop. The link to my shop is down below in the description. But I find that it works the best. Um, I don't like peeling the skins up because sometimes they're wrinkly and you can't really get them smooth. So I like to um, put them on the paper. So let me just put these on real quick and you can see them. Fresh cut and done. I should grab a cookie sheet to put those magnets on because they're sticking to everything. Let me see if I can get you guys down just a little bit lower. Hang on. That's probably as low as I can go without the camera being at an angle. Hi, Maria. I thought you'd be busy, busy. But that's it. Just cut them out because these already have paper on the back. And they're done. Easy peasy. And they don't like to sit next to each other. See, I can make the magnet dance. <laughs> But I did, I glued a ton of these things. And I always say on Sunday nights, I'll sit and cut while I'm watching Walking Dead. But today is a good day for me to get some work done out here. You didn't miss much, honey. I'm just cutting cabs.
But a lot of girls ask me how to make the magnets, so I thought, well, I'll just come on here real quick. And these are all glued for jewelry, for the snap jewelry. Um, I probably won't cut those today, but I need to get a lot of things finished. Hi, Cindy from Texas. I did post in the group, hon, but that's okay. <laughs> so once, you know, you can always take your fingernail file. See how nice the paper is on the back? Um, you can always take a fingernail file and get that rough edge off. Just go around the very edge of it to get that additional edge of paper off of there if you don't want it to show at all. I do this with the snaps so that they fit nice and tight. Darnell, I'm making magnets. Something I've been wanting to do for two years. <laughs> I have a whole drawer full of these magnets, and uh, I thought I've got to do something with them. So I ordered a bunch of cabs. You can get 100 cabs on my Amazon shop. And the magnets, I believe they're fourteen forty-eight for thirty-six, and these are the ones with the sticker. But you can also get them without the sticker, and you can glue these on. But that's it. Easy peasy. Nice little art thingies for um, Christmas gifts too. Hello, Doris. Lisa's here. Hello, Helen. So I'm just going to keep cutting. If you guys have questions, just ask. Um, I'm going to do probably just this pile here, and then I'm going to do um, finish work on my coasters that I just resined. And these were the ones that I did with the Shelly Art Technique. So what I'm going to do is... Um, use a gold marker and to get my edges done and put the corks on. And I'll be doing that after I do this pack of magnets. So if you want to stick around, you can watch that too. Um, I use a spatula like this, offset spatula. I scrape the paint up and I place the edge of that spatula on the photo paper and I just drag this down releasing the paint as I go. So when you're done, um, it's kind of like this. I let them dry for a couple of weeks and then I go ahead and glue cabs on them. I'm like way behind though, so mine have actually dried a lot longer than that. Um, I Sometimes I do, if there's a lot of silicone that I can see, um, a lot of these you can't see it. I just wipe them off with a little bit of alcohol and let them dry for a day because alcohol likes to dissolve paint. So you want to let that um, dry out as well. <laughs> College football. I was up really late last night. I was watching um, Monica's live and I didn't get to bed till like four o'clock. So. They were having a good old time in there, along with me having a good old time in there. I was silly, crazy, tired. So if you watch it, it was not my normal self. <laughs> um, I use the diamond glaze glue and glue the cab. I put one drop on there and squeeze it down on the skin and oh, where I put my diamond clays I'll show you let me get this one done and I can grab a cab real quick the 
this is probably the greatest way to spend a weekend just sitting and doing this instead of digging out all the painting supplies and this I just keep them on trays and just stick them on my racking system but they come out really cool I wish I could get that to focus for you my camera does not like close-ups that's for sure because of the background too I'm going to grab a cookie sheet to put those on. Let's see if they stick to this. Oh, they do. Yay. <laughs> it's a good way to store them, too, guys. Dollar Tree. Cheap little cookie sheets for a buck. And we can just set them on there. Oh, thanks, Mary Ellen. I'm not making um, jewelry, Mary Ellen. I'm doing magnets. The worst part of this is cutting them out because I use the little stork scissors, the embroidery scissors. They um, cut the best out of everything I've tried. And it does get, your fingers get sore after a while. Yeah, you can hang that up on the wall. Have all your magnets on there. So I'm probably going to have these in my Etsy shop for Christmas. They'll be like three for 12 bucks with free shipping. I have to get them done and get them photographed. I don't have time for a show. I really don't. My um, cousin called me today and wants us to come down next weekend. And I said, we have our auction next weekend. She says, well, you'll be home in time. <laughs> so I think it's a no, though, because my husband's already saying oh then we gotta hurry back and I haven't tried the rotary blade mine's of course is very much bigger than probably yours but this is pretty easy it goes fast I figure if I can get there's 36 here, so it won't take long to do these. And then uh, I just wanted to hang out online today, answer questions instead of getting bombarded in the group and an email. So I kind of put it out there if anybody had questions to come hang with us. And yeah, there's just definitely not enough time in a day for me. And Staying up late and sleep until 11 o'clock is not good for me either. But, um, yep. I, uh, I think that these 25 mils are nice. I would love to try some 30s because they have the bigger magnets and the bigger cabs. But the bigger magnets, I don't think, um, have the sticker on them. So you have to glue those. And those, you would glue this part with the diamond glaze and then uh, use the E6000 for gluing that paperback onto the magnet. Now, a lot of things, um, when you glue like that, sometimes your paper will show. You could go in with a black marker and just hit that edge so it doesn't look like it's standing out like that. Let's finish work, guys. Just take any extra step and, you know, you can do that while you're watching TV or sitting around doing nothing, <laughs> which is rare for all of us at this point. Let me get those on these magnets and we'll see where we're at. 
Um, what kind of caps? Are you talking about the cabs? The glass cabs? They're cabochons. Uh, these are 25 mil. They're all going to be really pretty because I picked really good spots on these uh, skins. And of course, you guys know I'm like the major skin collector. I have um, two huge cases full. Most paintings I can pull up to six very beautiful skins from. Um, some paintings I don't pull any because it's a little mucky. So I'm getting a little pickier with my skins. Um, refrigerator magnet. Yep, Bri. The, it's a cute little gift for someone um, that you can send them a piece of your artwork. If you don't want to give them a painting, like a co-worker, give them a couple of magnets and say, oh, that I painted that, you know. They would love to own that. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for Alan's co-workers this year. They got coasters last year, so... Maybe they'll get magnets this year. <laughs> but it's so easy. Once you get them cut out, it's just no time at all to put them together. And I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't cut other things with one kind of scissor. Um, Deborah, I have them in my Amazon shop. I have a link to my shop down below in the description. Maria has posted the link as well. Thank you, Maria. She just posted that for you. Save your skins. There's so much you can do with them. Um, I love making the snap jewelry. I have a ton of jewelry in my Etsy shop that's made with acrylic skins. If you guys want to check that out as well. Um, starting next week, I'll probably have a sale in my Etsy shop. I like to run one about one every once every two weeks just on the jewelry itself. Christmas is coming. Got to have those gifts. Oh, well, Angela, you should try making these. These are fun. They are so much fun. And it's so fast and easy. This one's got a little niche in it there. But you could go around this whole piece and get most of that paper off so you don't see it at all, but I think it'd just be easier to hit it with a marker. Um, in my Amazon shop, Angela, I have these magnets and I also have the cabochons that fit for these. And these magnets are great with the sticker. I'll do anything to get away from using glue. Look how quick they go. Look how many we made already. Time consuming is cutting them out. Um, but like I said, it's fun to do when you're bored. Carol, it's waterproof photo paper. Uh, the one that I normally buy from Amazon is out of stock. So they I listed a, a different kind. I um, personally have not tried it, but it seems like it's the same stuff. So that is in my shop as well. The only thing I don't have in my shop are these scissors. <laughs> these have been a godsend. I've tried um, the little nipper ones. 
I've tried cuticle scissors. Those work great too because you can get really super close to the cab with those and get most of that paper off because these are really sharp. So I'm going to get a few more of these done. I told my husband, I said, I'm just going to turn the camera on and go live and just hang out and answer questions and make magnets. And then I'll work on my coasters. Now, if you get glue on the top of your cab when you when you glue them, um, after you get them on the magnet, you can go with a paper towel with a little bit of alcohol and that should dissolve that and it'll come right off. Always make sure you clean them, everything up that you're going to sell so that it looks perfect. Yep, you can do just the coasters with your leftover runoff. I have lots of coasters. Um, the auction next Sunday, I'm going to have jewelry and... Um, I'm probably going to have these coasters. They'll be going as singles, though. These are done with the stone coat countertop or uh, art coat. So I'll have probably 12 of these that I'll auction off. Alan is trimming bushes and cleaning it all up, and then he'll probably come in, but he's got his man stuff to do, Bri. He's not into making magnets, that's for sure. He doesn't want anything to do with this stuff. He cut out a couple of cabs one time, and he's like, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> that's too much on his fingers, I think. So um, if you buy tiles from Lowe's or Home Depot, you can pour paint on them. They're just ceramic tiles. I do tape the backs off and I clean them with alcohol. So you can pick up your um, runoff from your paintings and make coasters as well. I do that a lot too. I have... Um, I think three sets of coasters I need to get up into Etsy that are completely cured, ready to go. And when I say completely cured, that's 30 day plus of the resin curing so that you can put hot cups on there and they won't stick. Brian, you waste enough paint, dude. <laughs> I just watched your um, flip and slide video. Okay, so the hardest part of making these magnets is getting that little piece of paper off. You gotta have a fingernail. <laughs> I wanted to get some red, white, and blue ones, but I didn't have any pretty skins. Yes, Brian does love paint. Hello, Olga from France. All right, let's see. The ones that have one on them. And I still save that because I have little tiny cabs or earrings. We're going to be doing another jewelry video. Um, Jenny's going to be sending me another goodie box with some new um, stuff that she's getting in. So we're going to do another video for Jen. And she'll have um, the code for us to get our 
discount. I usually think it's 30% off for our Posse members. So uh, watch for that. I told her I'd do the video as soon as she sends it to me because I have all those cut and ready to go. So, well, not cut, but glued. <laughs> Yeah, those silicone cups were cool, Bri. And the nice thing is that they're bendable too, right, Brian? So you can kind of move them where you want. Are you asking about his cups, Kath? Oh, silicone champagne glasses. I'm sure that's what he meant, champagne. Right, Bri? Ooh, look at those. Let's cut those out. I think this is runoff from Kaylee's neon pour when she was here. When I glue these cabs on, though, um, I do try to wipe that excess glue off the edge because cutting them out, it makes cutting much easier than having a big gap of glue there. Sounds good, Bri. Put the link in your description on your video, too. For your watchers, your viewers. They appreciate that when they know where to get the stuff. So... Paint sales have been crazy. I've been mixing paint like three days a week, but I'm loving every minute of it. I love mixing paint, so not a problem there. Um, last weekend we did batches, so we are ahead of the game. All the jars are full. I have like 10 jars of every color ready to go. Um, some of the girls are using the jarred paint for the Shelly Art Technique, and they're getting great results with my pigments. Maria, you're awesome. I wasn't expecting you to show up. <laughs> I figured you were busy working today. So I have um, 108 magnets and I have 100 cabs here glued. So I'm going to have to um, probably pull some more cabs out and glue them for the other eight. But uh, I don't really think I need 108 magnets all at one time, do I? I don't know. They sell really well, especially at the shows. I've heard the girls say the magnets go quick. And the other thing is, if you do shows, definitely have a candy dish on your table so that people will stop to grab a piece of candy. And while they're there... They're not going to eat that candy. They're not going to take it and walk away. They're going to stand there and unwrap that candy and look at your stuff and say hello to you. And that's your chance. That's your pounce moment. Say, have you seen everything I have here? Let me show you some stuff. And then you show them your magnets and your coasters and your paintings and your jewelry. And uh, 
Um, once you start talking to them and become friends with them, they're more apt to purchase something from you. Whether they can afford a big painting or not, magnets are easy to go. Um, the snap jewelry that we do, anybody would love that stuff because they can change the color of the snap in their jewelry every day. They can buy snaps from other vendors and wear it with the jewelry too. So always have snaps available for people to purchase if you're going to do the snap jewelry. <clears throat> and also have um, like a base necklace that's just plain, um, just a plain pendant. Because a lot of people don't like foo-foo jewelry. You know, they want just something simple. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Abby. My over-the-pond ladies, right, across the pond. <laughs> so we're just cruising along on these. Now, let's say you get one on here and it's not even. You could probably heat that up with your hair dryer or something and be able to shove that back over. Because these really stick, guys. I mean, I cannot pull that off of there. So, you would definitely want to warm it up just so you could slide it over a smidge. Let's do some purples. I'm all about collecting skins, I guess. And now Maria's always saying one for you and one for me. <laughs> so when she comes next year to the retreat, I'll have probably twice as many skins. So she'll be able to uh, help herself. Oh, look at that. There was a skin attached to that one that I could have used, and it was pretty. We'll save it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm already um, dreading the thought of you coming into the Porage, girlfriend, because I already know. I Can I have one of these? I want one of these. Give me one of these. <laughs> I'll be like, take whatever you want. You figure out how to get it home. <clears throat> we are going to have a good time on the retreat. That's for sure. We need it. Anybody that's going on the Paraj Posse Beach Retreat next year in May, we all need that retreat. We have been just busy, busy, busy this year and um, trying to get our channel moving and, you know, going live every Monday night, doing auctions. And now I have my paint sales. I definitely need a retreat. But here's the scoop with the retreat. I am going to be there for hands-on if anybody wants to learn how to do a technique or um, wants to um, be a little more skilled with mixing paint, <clears throat> um, wants to learn, you know, like a bottle bottom tilt. A lot of people have trouble with tilting, whatever. I'm going to be there for each session. Like you'll we'll have um, quite a few girls pouring. So I'm going to have like five or six girls on, on each session so I can kind of be hands-on with them. But also I'm just going to let them pour and have a good time. You know, everybody, some of them are experienced pourers. They can just come and paint and enjoy the sea breeze and um, the company, of course. And then uh, we'll be filming at the retreat so we can share it with our YouTube subscribers. Um, Holly, right now I have a bunk room left, a shared bunk room with Stephanie Brown. <clears throat> that room is $500 for the week. Um, it includes um, painting. I'm bringing all the supplies and the paint, the canvas, etc. I'm bringing a, a U-Haul full of stuff to um, paint with. So what you're responsible for is, of course, your meals and bringing your own, um, you know, hair, 
hair stuff and body stuff and um, I'm going to try to have breakfast foods there so people don't have to go out for breakfast. But they can if they want. I'm not forcing anybody to stay at the house, that's for sure. This is a vacation for everybody. Um, and your paint session is two hours a day, so you got plenty of time to go out and see the sights. Clothing optional, yeah, Bri. <laughs> um the Wild Horses on Corolla Beach. That is so much fun. We did that last year. And the Lighthouses, they have jet skiing, parasailing, um, plenty of museums, art museums. I went and did that last year as well. I think I hit three of them. Gift shops. Oh my goodness, the gift shops are so much fun. The souvenir stores are so much fun. But there's always stuff to do on the beach. Of course, you can go down and pick seashells and watch the sunrise. That's the best part for me is watching the sunrise and walking along the beach, along the water line. So um, I'm hoping we sell that last room we had a couple of cancellations so one girl upgraded to a king size room and that opened up the bunky room again so if we do we do if we don't we don't we're full we're good to go and making that second payment this week and actually I'll probably do it tomorrow online And then our next payment is in April, and we go in May, and yay, that's going to be fun. Ellen and I are so looking forward to it, so if this goes good, we'll be doing a retreat every year. I would love to do one, like, in September, but we just can't um, commit to that because of the hurricane season. Um, Kathy, I use Diamond Glaze to glue the cab onto the skin. E6000 is for gluing this part onto a magnet, but I bought the magnets that have the stickers on them, so we don't have to glue them. I've seen some girls use E6000 to glue the cabs on, um, but I also heard some that said they get bubbles in them, and that's I've always used Diamond Glaze, so... I really like the diamond glaze. A lot of girls are bringing their hubbies too, which um, is going to be fun because they can go and golf or go to the Wright Brothers Museum and check that stuff out. Or, you know, there's stuff for the guys to do. There's also the ferry that can take you to Ocracoke Island. And you can go over there and see all the artisan work over there. Um, I think Jenny Post said something about finding a haunted lighthouse. And we did find one. So she can go do that. <laughs> Just too much fun stuff to do, that's for sure. Yeah, I do have jewelry tutorials up that you guys can check out, too. Um, I do have them for snap jewelry, and I do have them for just the skins, where I use the resin instead of the glass cabs. Hi, Brenda. Brenda's getting into resin now. I'm so happy for her. She did such a beautiful job on her galaxy pores. Carla's here. I'm just glancing over every once in a while and just checking. I don't have it right in front of me, which stinks, but. A 
We're getting there, though. I think after these three, maybe I'll quit and show you how I finish off those coasters. Well, I'd like to do that one whole set of magnets. <laughs> so don't mind me, guys. You can come and go. I'll be here a while if you get bored. Alan's my good doobie today. He did my running for me this morning and went and got me a Happy Meal because he's my honey. <laughs> I thought it was me and Happy Meals. Oh, I think he's coming. There he is. Hi, babe. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Girl, let's just tell us what your toy is. What's your toy? Oh, from my Happy Meal. Grab it. It's right there. I'm always a good boy. It's the Maria. Hello Kitty skeleton. <laughs> hey, Brian. You're always a good boy? Is that what you said? Yeah. Marie says being a good boy today. He is being a good boy today. He got the bushes done. That was driving me nuts. They were, what, over a foot, over what they should be? The bushes, they grow. Yeah. Well... Halloween stunk for us because we had tornado warnings. We had seven kids that braved the wind and came here. Um, our neighbors across the street and next door both had bowls of candy out because they were out trick-or-treating with their kids. And somebody in a Suburban came with their kids and just dumped all the candy into their bags. Stole all the candy from the other kids. It was terrible. I hate when people do stuff like that. It ruins it for everybody else. Needless to say, we have a lot of candy left. We have a lot of candy left. <laughs> Great. Now I want to start on a diet here soon, you know. But there is a video going uh, around on Facebook where this little boy goes to this house and there's no candy in the bowl. So he like looks all worried, you know. He's like touching his face and he's like, why is there no candy in there? And he looks around and then he opens his bag and he takes candy out of his bag and refills the bowl so the little kids that are coming up the stairs behind him can have a piece of candy. That just made my heart sing. Whoever raised that little boy, kudos to you because that was just so sweet. Maria said she shared that one. That's just so sweet. Is it Tina at Artistically Random? Yes. She said there was a kid here that did that too. Yep. And then I was very sad because Grandpa from Grandpa's Kitchen passed away. The one that fed the orphans. I think it's in India. Is it India? I don't remember what country he's from, but. Charles and Don from Art and my cater here and he said hi Christina. Hi Don. I'm sure it's Don. <laughs> How do you know it's not Charles? Oh I don't know. It could be Charles. Mr. or Mrs. Let's take it the leaf blower out. Um it's what do you think of, Brian? It's kind of late. Lots of paint over there. You want to go play? You don't know how to set the camera up, though. Yeah, it is done. Charles is out for the moment. Okay. I watched Dawn do her acrylic inks. She's fun to watch, too.
dabbling in all kinds of stuff. I ordered some tumblers, so I'm going to be doing some tumblers. Brian says it's cold out there for that. Brian, it's about 65 degrees out right now here. Yeah, it's not too bad here. It's supposed to be in the 70s this week, so. I've got to get the last minute stuff done outside before winter gets here. Brian says, yeah, Alan, you need to do a video, dude. Your channel channel's naked. Um, Wanda, you can use a punch, yes, and glue it to your cab so you don't have to do this. I thought about that after I had them all glued. <laughs> I was like, that would have been so much easier. Of course, lining them up, you know, you could get glue all over your fingers probably, but you could do that to save time on cutting. That's for sure. Brian said he had snow there a few minutes ago. Um, I don't know if I have my one inch punch here. We're getting snow right now in southeast Wisconsin. You guys just keep it over there. That's all I'm going to say. I have all kinds of punches. I just don't have that one out here. I don't want snow yet. I'll take snow January, February, but that's it. How about I'll, Christmas Eve? I like Christmas Eve snow. To wake up Christmas morning with it all white. Yeah. But we've never had that here. We've had it Christmas Day. Christmas night, I should say, when we got hammered with that foot of snow. It shuts our city right down when we get snow, so can't go anywhere. Nothing's open. Tina's favorite season is snow. <laughs> well, we're from up north. We don't mind snow. Actually, I love it, but not a lot of it. I just don't like the cold. To me, the bitter cold that makes your bones ache, that's the cold I don't like. Maria said she had snow on the 30th of October in Arkansas. Yeah. Well, they got their first snowfall in New York. Penny posted pictures. Beautiful dusting. That was it. She said, okay, I'm done. <laughs> So that set is the black and golds. I'll show you this last one. I always go all the way around to make sure that's snug. I agree, Carol. She says you wouldn't like it if you had to shovel it. We used to shovel it. Hated it. We did. Well, you hated it. That last year. We that, had, yeah, that last year before we moved here, we had, what, two and a half feet of snow that day? Overall, and, though, for the year, we had over 10 feet of snow. Yeah, that was a bad winter. That was like making it, making us want to move here. <laughs> and then we get here, was it April, I like April 17th, 18th? And I said, it's cold here. Why is it cold here? I was thinking it was going to be hot. You know, I never had gone down south in the winter. So I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> it's like, it's cold here too. But the dogwood trees were all in blossom and it was pretty. Yeah, says so she'd rather shovel snow than mow the yard. I don't know about that. The heat can be killer. Everybody says, you know, you're so, so lucky to live down south. Well, the summers here are horrible. It's just so hot. You, know, you can't go outside and work in your flower beds unless you do it at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 90 degrees by 11 o'clock in the morning, and the sun is so hot. I swear it's closer to us here. <laughs> You're right, we're not far enough south. We have to go south. Souther. I always say that. We need to go souther. <laughs> you 
They said they had the hottest October in a hundred years. Uh, okay, so here's the question. Where did you get your magnets? <coughs> They're on my um, Amazon shop, Brenda. Actually, it's, I think it's the first thing when you go in my shop because I just added these. I might have added a couple of things since then, but I went in and took out everything that was sold out. Are these products listed on your page? They're in my Amazon shop, yep. Maria's right on top of it. She is. She's, she is. A link. She's the bestest. Maria always has a link for everything that I'm using during a live, even though I didn't tell her I was going live on my bed. But we are on the run for 80,000 subscribers by Monday so we can do our giveaway. And we're pretty close. We were 116 away when I started the live. So we have two days to get there. I'm really hoping that YouTube doesn't do another clean out of spam accounts tonight and <laughs> set us back again. We didn't lose too many, though. We lost more than I thought we did. So, what do we got left? Three? Let's do three the same and then we'll be done with those magnets and then we'll do some coasters. Maria's working for skins. And <laughs> she laughing after she says yeah, that. that. That was the shot. <laughs> Tina says she fetches for Marcy. I will have so many skins by the time Maria gets here, she won't even know what ones to pick. And then I usually, if I start a whole nother box, when she asks for skins, I give her a pile out of the old box I've already pulled from. Ryan says he needs a few more to get to 500 before his 200th video. You get there, Brian. Hey, I sat with nine subscribers for a month. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what video it was. I think it might have been the Hawaiian flower. I had 10 in June of last year. I had gotten over 10,000 subscribers in one month, which totally blew my mind. I was up in New York and it had been just, I had just gotten monetized because I got stuck in that pile of people that were waiting for months to get monetized. Cause I had hit it in January and I'd never got monetized until June. So I went six months without making any money. And that following July, that next month in July was when I hit all those subscribers. We were like just sailing through. We were doing so many giveaways for that summer, weren't we? Cause we had hit 50 and then 60 and then 75 and well, 75 this year, but We've slowed down a lot since December, and I always tell everybody, there's only so many people that pour paint. So you're only going to get so many subscribers, you know? And then people get bored and want to go watch somebody else, or they have too many, and they, or they accidentally unsubscribe and they don't mean to. And I get a lot of people that say, I'm sorry, I, I must have clicked something and I wasn't su subscribed. And but I am now. <laughs> it's okay. It's not a problem. No worries. So we got one set done and those are pretty. Serendipity Soul Acrylic Art says, Hey everyone, glad I got the catch. Christina live again. Yeah. So these were all the pieces that I cut off, but I'm still going to save them because there's still pretty things on them that we can still pull from. 
I don't chuck them yet. I don't chuck them until I just have a little piece left that has nothing interesting on it. Uh, okay, I think we're going to answer, but Carol Kotsky was asking, what size are those large cabs? These are 25 mil. mil, yep, and the magnets are 25 mil. And the box is X-Bet magnet. That's how they come, just like that. So, um, these have to go in my skin box, which is on the desk. But this honey right here, I'll we'll put them in the bottom one because the top one is all new skins. So there they are, guys. So is this more fun than binge watching a show? <laughs> I binge watch Netflix when I'm working, when I'm mixing paint. I've watched so many series on there. So let me slide that tray. I love these trays. You can get these on Amazon too. I think I ordered or put them in my shop now. They're like three bucks for a plastic tray. Prime. Can you get those at the high school too? <laughs> Probably. So I have a bunch of tiles that I got to work on. These were all my little Shelly Art um, little masterpieces. These are the ones that I didn't scrape. Let's just say that. <laughs> Scraped a lot. Denubbed? Yes, these are all denubbed. I think. Yes, because I stole them all after he brought me the pile. I was like, oop, I'll take those. Okay, I think I have them all. So there's a dozen here. I gotta wipe my hands off. I have magnet goop on my fingers. Magnet goop? Goop. Oh. Brown goop. So I'll probably put these in my Etsy shop to sell. I may give a couple away for the 80,000 subscriber giveaway. So what I like to do when I do my tiles, um, I buy the Deco Color Premium Prime chisel marker. This is a pretty gold marker. And I believe I got this from Michaels in the craft paint aisle. I have a guy, well, had a guy that worked there. His name was Sean. He used to find me everything that I asked for. <laughs> I never had to go look for it. Be like, Sean here? Where's Sean? Sean, I need this. Oh, it's right over here. And you take me right to it. <laughs> I don't have time to look. You know, it's like I'm, I'm a woman on a mission. All right, so let me get this. Wow, they even have paper on it. Putting it in the packaging was enough. So as you know, when I do coasters, I tape off the backs completely. So when you pull the resin off, it all pulls off your tiles nice and clean. The one thing that I do do that some people probably don't. Uh, let's see. I could probably use this one. Um, after that 24 hours, and I take the tape off, I like to run um, this along the edge to get anything that's raised or um, overlapped. From the tape of course i think i already did these so i'm not going to get anything but i like to just run that along to make sure i don't have any rough edges and always wipe because you're not cured yet stuff can still stick so now i gotta get this going could you hand me a piece of paper 
That's fine. And waiting for a marker to load is like forever. Get the car one. No, I think we're already into Will Mod Podge work as well as nail polish? Oh, on the backs, if you're just gluing onto the skin, yeah. Um, I would use nail polish. But if you're going to use Mod Podge, calf, let it dry for a few days before you glue that onto the magnet or whatever you're going to glue it onto. Okay, we're running good now. So I just like to, because I'm going to put cork on the back of here, um, I like to go in far enough that you're not going to see any tile. So I just hit it in about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. Normally, I used to just put the cork on and go around it, but I kind of like the edge to be covered with gold. Or you could just take them outside and spray paint them, but you run the risk of getting the spray paint on this side. So I like to just use a marker. It's just, it's just putting a little more effort into it, I guess. Tina says she has one of your coasters permanently on her bedside stand. Aw, that's sweet. Brian, let's know any color pen for this. Yeah, I like the gold. They also have silver, black, and white. Um, you could, I know um, in the beginning I was using colored ones like purple and um, green, whatever the color of the tile was, but I'm really liking the gold lately. Marie was wondering which marker is that? This, is that yeah, this is the Deco Color Premium Prime Premio. From, this is from Michael's. Oops. Chisel tip. Because you need the chisel tip to uh, get into those edgies. And I always do two coats because one coat is just covering the ceramic part. So you'd want to do another coat to get it a little more shiny. And this is fun to do while you're watching TV too. These are all the little odd things that I do while I'm watching TV. I'm still working instead of relaxing. You know what, so could you just use paint and a craft brush? You could. Um, these are paint markers, so I don't see what the difference would be. This is, um, I think this is oil based though. It doesn't say on here. Because this smells like, um, this is acid free, lead free, permanent. It's pigmented, but it doesn't say if it's oil or if it's just a paint marker. So, and this is really the opacity on these is so Thank nice. You, she say bless you. Bless you. Oops. Uh, Marie's got a question. If you had a bare ceramic tile, bare like the back of those tiles, right. what would you use to seal it first before arting it? I would just put some spray paint primer on it. I'm going to make sure I don't go back in that wet spot. Slide you over there. Lori and I want to know, where did you get the glass beads? Oh, the cabs? Those are from my Amazon shop. So once I get all of this on here, and of course you saw that I had a pile run out of there for some reason. Oh, it's misbehaving all of a sudden. 
never had that problem with this marker before. I might have got a bad one. Sometimes you might get a bad one. So after I get all that gold on there, I buy... <laughs> now, don't freak out, guys, but I buy my cork on a roll from Etna Felt. Um, I buy 500 at a time because I, for a while there, I was doing a ton of coasters, so it was just easier. This is just a stick-on um, cork back, already cut. So I just line it up with those pegs and push down. Like that. And then I take my Sharpie and I write CW 2019. Brian's going, he's going to paint back after a bit. Thanks. So that's it for that tile. That's done and it'll be ready to go. Easy peasy. And the back is finished off so it doesn't have that raw edge. Of course, my tiles come out pretty clean so I don't have anything to hide. <laughs> One down. One down, 11 to go. <laughs> And these I really want to get done today because I want to have some for the giveaway. So now like this one, I could do purple or copper on the back side. So I'm picking up the ones that, let me pick up the ones that have gold and I'm going to do those first. And I'll tell you why this happened right here. Because when Alan tapes off tiles, he leaves a little square opening there. And I don't. I do all strips all the way. This is how I tape them off. Alan leaves this part open. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was either you or Nate. One of you is. Well, Nate hasn't been here for over a year. I know. We had tiles that we hadn't used that we were using. Okay, let's blame it on Nate. Let's blame it on Nate. No, I'm not going to blame it on Nate. <laughs> It was you. Admit it. <laughs> Dixie is Judy, correct? Yes. She's got to run. I uh, miss Judy. No, Don. It's always the guy that's not theirs. Fault. Don't blame that me. Can you um shut that heater up for a little bit? It's getting very warm in here. So what happens when we close that door. It heats up quick in here. Whew. I wouldn't blame anything on Nady. He's my buddy. Have a good day, Mary Ellen. She's heading out. She needs to make dinner. Yeah, Ellen needs to get on top of that pretty soon here, too. <laughs> Just kidding. We're just doing tacos tonight. We got easy peasy night. Steaks tomorrow. Steaks tomorrow. So it ended up being a pretty nice day today, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Kathy Carr says she uses a post-it. A post-it for? Probably cover up that center. Oh. I think she might be lagging just a little bit. sure I like this marker. It's not acting. It's not behaving. I noticed this one. Um, this might be one I've got from Hobby Lobby. I, I bet you this is the one I got from Hobby Lobby.
Oh, see? Gold paint. I get me some alcohol that'll take it right off. And then I'm gonna have to clean the tile. Yeah, here. I can't reach it. <laughs> I don't like this marker. It leaks too much. I think I got a bad marker. So in order to get that gold off of there, I have to hit it with some alcohol. And I'm going to set this one aside. Because I'm probably going to have to resand this now and put a flood coat on it. You can do that in your spare time. Huh? You can do that in your spare time. Because that's not taking it all off either. Diane Thomas says she just checked out your shop. She says there's some really beautiful things in there. Yeah, I have some really pretty jewelry in there. And of course our pigments are in there too. If you want mix for painting. This reminds me of that Montana gold stuff, Montana can stuff. I bet you could just use that with a paintbrush if you want to get high because that stuff is strong. All right. Let me go grab a different marker and I've got to put this tile aside. Tina wants to know, could you use nail polish remover to get that gold off? Uh, ruin the resin. I'm still going to have to. When I sand it, it'll come off. But I don't want to ruin the resin either. And gold Sharpie. I got black ones here. I can do that one in black, that one in black. Abby Collins says she needs to go sort breakfast. Keep oh, yeah. up the beautiful work. Thank you. I will. <laughs> I don't know what kind of tip this one has. I think I'm going to go make dinner. Already? Aren't you hungry? I just had a happy meal. <laughs> I still have my tea. <laughs> Dean says, did you say it could ruin the resin? She said she couldn't hear you. The nail polish remover? Yes. You don't want to put anything on your flood coat of your resin. Especially this hasn't been 30 days cured yet. Actually, this isn't the one that I'm working on, but this one here. I got a little bit of gold paint up here. Unintended embellishment. <laughs> yeah, an unintended embellishment. Stupid marker leaked and went underneath, so it hit the face of the tile. So I will fix that though. It's too it's too pretty not to fix it, right guys? Serendipity is leaving. I think that's Jan. Am I right? Is it Jan? I have everybody all confused with their channel names. I need a cheat sheet. Fix it. It please. is. It is. <laughs> Baby doll is. Baby doll is Brenda. Brenda says fix it. Well, that please. one, yeah. Let's see how this one works. This is a Sharpie, so it's not as pretty gold, though. 
Yeah. Uh, serendipity says it is and her granddaughter taylor says hello miss christina hello she doesn't want her to turn it off she loves to watch you <laughs> <laughs> debbie um can't draw howard her cat watches us every monday night and uh she said this last the video that she tried to send me that he just sat and watched. She didn't like paw at the screen this time. <laughs> he tries to grab our paint bottles. It's so cute. She sent me a video of him doing that. Maria says, will it come off with alcohol? Maybe. I tried alcohol. It didn't touch it. I mean, I could sit and play, maybe soak the alcohol a little bit more, but Definitely don't want to use nail polish remover because, well, especially the kind that I use because I use straight up acetone, but it would definitely eat that resin. It would um, mar it so that you would have to put another coat on anyway. So I might be able to um, buff that out, sand it and buff it out. I just have to buff it to a shine. So I'd have to have probably some thousand grit sandpaper to get it back to the shine. It's just easier for me to sand it and put a flood coat on it. Taylor wants to know if, if her uh, grandma will buy her some of your jewelry for Christmas. Aww. I guess she has her orders. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Tina. She said she was having Christina live withdrawals. Well, we'll be live again Monday. Um, I'm really hoping we hit our 80,000 so so we can give stuff away. Otherwise, we'll have to wait till the following Monday, which will be the day after the auction. Ugh, that'd be horrible. And then the following weekend after that, we have the Jerry Show, the Art in the Carolinas. I'm going to be meeting a few artists there. That will be fun. I'm going to miss Nate, though, because Nate was... Maybe we should get our U-Haul for that weekend, too. <laughs> Why? We can go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> Remember, Alan, to get out of work early on that Friday. <laughs> uh, so the question is, where is Jerry's art show in the Carolinas? Um, it's at the and Hilton in Raleigh. It's the 14th, 15th, and 16th from 8 to 5. They have a lot of workshops that you can sign up to take a class. I don't ever do that. I just go to shop. But the Grumbacher rep is my buddy. He uh, spent a lot of time with us last year when we were there. Got me into buying the... Melitau, um chrome markers and the masking fluid markers, which sell like hotcakes at those shows. So I'm, I got to get some more of those from Mr. Nate this year. I was hoping it was closer to the Tennessee Virginia line. No, it's not. But here's the thing if you can't go to the show, if you shop online, your pricing will be pretty close to the show prices. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be like maybe 50 cents to a dollar difference. So you still get good deals online too if you can't go to the show. Julie Kay has got a question. When applying resins, is there a way to prevent the resin from collecting underneath the tile? If you want to sit there with a stick and keep rubbing your edge, yeah. But if you have your back taped off, you shouldn't have any trouble getting that off of there. Ceramic tiles are totally different than canvas. It just peels right off. So, you know, I think that other marker would have been prettier on there. I may go back and when I find my other marker and fix that. Marie's got a good point. She says the way's out because you get free shipping for orders over 40 or over $35. Right. Yeah. So. 
why spend the gas money if you can order online and get the prices almost as close to what you can get at the show? Yeah, I remember last year I bought her all that paint and then figured out it would cost me more to ship it than for her to order it. <laughs> remember, there's going to be all over that one. Yeah. Um, Especially the uh, Soho. The Soho will probably be like $8.99 a jar for the 500 mil. Grab one of those so I can show them what they'll get for $8.99. You can get one of these great big tubs of paint for $8.99. And this is medium body. I wouldn't even say it's soft. I would, I'd say it's a medium body, medium to heavy um, paint that you only need like a scoop of this with your flow trawl to make a bottle of paint. The pigments are beautiful for Soho. So I'm an affiliate, not an affiliate. I am a brand ambassador for Soho. And it's the only paint that I use besides my own mixes that I can recommend to someone to use. So if you um, want to start buying brands, you know, a lot of people say you should never mix brands. Um, if you're a one brand person, Soho is beautiful. They only, the only problem with Soho is they only have one purple. And that's dioxazine violet. So you can add colors to it. You know, they're pink and they're green and they're whites to make other shades of um, purple. But I always tell everybody, start with your basic colors. They have a sheet that has all the colors. I have every color that Soho makes that I bought over the past year. And um, I love them all. They do have a lot of yellows. I don't understand the whole deal with the yellows. We need more purples. I would love to see like a... Um, just different colors that other places have that they don't have for Soho. It's like they stopped at a certain color and didn't make any more. I know this marker smells like a magic marker, but it's paint. It's weird. Brenda says she sees a lot of soup beans and fried taters in her future because all her money goes on art and art supplies. <laughs> you know, it's different when you're selling it, you know, and making money. Um, this is the perfect time of year to get out there and talk to a local restaurant, you know, like a little cafe or something or a diner and say, hey, can I come in and set up in a corner for a weekend and just sit there and sell my artwork? Because people that come in to eat, they have that whole half an hour to 45 minutes to look at your stuff from where they're sitting. They're more apt to come over and buy a piece when they're done. So. Um, coffee shops, you know, like um, delis, just try to get a wall for a month. Say, can I hang my stuff up in here for a month? I'll give you 20% commission, you know, mark your prices up just a little bit to cover that commission charge and see if they'll let you sell in there. I have a couple of places that I'm supposed to be calling and making connections, but I ain't just been so freaking busy. <laughs> well, plus with the Christmas season, there's a lot of craft shows too. Yeah. That's the one thing though. Once you start doing craft shows, um, you're kind of taking, the, to me, to me, you're kind of taking the art out as far as pricing. Because you're not going to sell paintings for $200 at a craft show. Art festival, yes. But not a craft show. So just take your little stuff with you to craft shows. You know, anything that's 16 by 20 or smaller. You know, your jewelry, your coasters. That stuff sells really well at craft shows. Magnets. Magnets, yeah. Keychains. They love keychains. Um, bookmarkers. You can always, you know, do the snaps with the bookmarkers. And um, even with the, the bezels, the necklace bezels, that you can put those on an end of a book hook. 
people eat that stuff right up. Yep. We haven't done a craft show in so long. I wouldn't even know where, how to set up again. <laughs> we did it a lot um, a couple years. Well, th actually, it was four years ago. We did every show we could get into in the area. We don't go out of town. And it was like two, three hours to set up, an hour and a half to tear down. And you sit there. I would be out shopping other people's stuff. And Alan would be selling jewelry at my table for me because people are more apt to stop and talk to him than me so just letting everybody know we're dry for 80 yeah as far as mixing um brands of paint it's fine to do that um i like the reactions you get sometimes a lot of people say don't mess with the pH balance of each paint, but you know what? Paint is paint to me. As long as it's a decent paint and you're using um, the correct products with the paint. If you want to be all archival, then use golden and use their mediums and all that stuff. If you want your paintings to last 200, 300 years, then you go out and do that. Just remember what kind of canvas you're using, too, because the canvas plays a very important part in it as well. I'm going to be gone in like 40 years, so I don't really care what happens to my paintings after I'm gone. I really I'll, don't. I'll find a place for them. That's good. I'm glad you'll be living on. <laughs> you're a jerk. <laughs> That's good because I need to go before you because... I don't have anybody take care of me. <laughs> Maria, will you come take care of me? I'll let you play in the poor hush. 40 years, that would make us... Uh, 98. Yeah. Well, my mother's 89 and she's shooting for 100, so I'm just hoping I don't have her genes. <laughs> she's... Uh, She's never home. She's a go, go, go. Volunteers at the hospital de delivering mail. She doesn't act old at all, you guys. If you met her, you'd think she was in her 50s. She doesn't even look old. She does the bus trips for the gambling trips. And oh, she's, she says these little old ladies get on the bus. And they're with their canes or their walkers. And they'll say to her, you're too young to be on this trip. And my mom will say, really? And the, the ladies will say, yeah, I'm 69 or I'm 72. And my mom will say, yeah, I'm 89. <laughs> and they just call her a liar. <laughs> Maria says she will take care of you if she's still alive. There we go. So both of you can take care of each other. Yes. She'll I'm have, still waiting. To she'll have cats, though. <laughs> we'll be the old cat ladies. <laughs> I'm just waiting to find out when Maria's moving in because... You know, oh, last yeah. Monday, she's you announced that Maria was moving in. Yeah. Why were you gone? I don't know. <laughs> well, we told Maria she could have the upstairs, the north wing, with free range to the garage. I like that idea, Kathy. She says you can buy the house your retreat is at, and it can be a rest home for poorers. Oh, let me tell you something, Kath. If we ever, ever hit Powerball, we will have a house on the beach. And I probably would want that house because I love that house. I've been in a different house since then, and I didn't like the other house. And the other house was brand new. It was okay. But... I like the new, the first house. I like the distance from the beach. I love the long pier like that. And I love the cabana. It's a whole separate area away from the house. Has a kitchen on the first floor, a little kitchenette on the second floor, a humongous kitchen on the third floor with two stoves, you two, two fridge. Yeah, I love that. And it has these big sliding glass doors so you can watch the sunrise and it's just so pretty there. Maria says you need a fireman's pole from the upstairs down to the pole. Oh, is that what I need? 
<laughs> I thought she was going to tell me I need a stripper's pole for her. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. We'll have to get that installed, huh? Should we have it so it drops right down here in the porage, Maria? Because That's what she said. the bedroom that I'm building up there will be right above the porage. Yeah. Molly's here. She says, That's what I was thinking. Different kind of pole. <laughs> the porage pole. I'm still working on getting organized out here, guys. It's like as soon as I think I'm done, I get a shipment in of other stuff that I don't have a place for. And it's like, oh, great. Where am I going to put this stuff now? I have dabbled in too much stuff. I have alcohol inks. I have tumbler supplies. You know, and then, of course, the painting business. So I have all of that stuff. It's, you know, the jewelry supplies. And I have my shipping area and my resin area and my workbenches and it's like I'm full I've got to um purge something's got to give purge or expand so is not an option what'd you say I said purge or expand and expansion is not an option we could make it an option we have a whole big driveway we can add on to <laughs> need money to do that though don't we I mean, I even took my Cricut into the dining room and bought a cart for it so okay. I can take my old laptop and hook that up to that and start playing with that soon. I said soon. I didn't say today. <laughs> took it out of the box. I did. I took it out of the box, set it all up on the cart. Now it's collecting dust because I haven't touched it yet. But I will. I will. And... So I even bought the Easy Press so I could do iron on stuff. Be all bursting. I might be able to do our own aprons if I get my button gear. Gail is here. She says she's glad she's not too late for the party. Molly's saying hi, guys. Hi, Mal. Crystal is here. She says it's so much fun. She loves her cricket. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm going to love that so much that every painting is going to have something on it. And then I'm going to totally get away from the whole pouring, you know, uh, result. And I'm going to want to add something to it. And that, that's just too much embellishing. So I'm going to take away the art side of it. And that's what I'm afraid of. So let's see. This one goes like that. So we'll sign it here. Maria says she's going to have to put a cricket on layaway. She's just not sure which one to get. I got the, I think the Air 2. Actually, Michael's has them on sale right now, I think. Uh, I think $1.99. It's like an early Black Friday sale. If you didn't get the email, let me know because I did with the code. Crystal suggests getting the Maker. What's the Maker? Just another... Probably another model. version, yeah. There's, um, I think, three different ones. Because I think there's Explore and Air 2. And I'm taking my jacket off because I'm too warm. Yep, Maria got her email. Yeah, and then they sent me an email a few weeks ago. Um what to do when you take your cricket out of the box. So I'm, I'm thinking it's like an online tutorial that I'm going to check out. There's a girl here on YouTube. Gosh, I wish I could remember her name. She's got pink hair. She does some amazing stuff with her cricket. I know I'm subscribed to her. I just can't think of her name. But I have the tumblers, too, and I don't want to do the whole decal thing, I don't think, on the tumblers. I think I just want to keep them artsy and do the alcohol inks and the um, glitter, but not like heavy-duty glitter. More like a holographic-type background with alcohol inks. But I did buy the rotator thing, and 
I've been buying some tumblers because if I do one, I'm going to want to do more. So I got to make sure I have enough of those stocked up. Because <laughs> you only use like not even an ounce of resin to coat the tumbler and then an ounce for a flood coat. So I don't, it's not even that much. It's very tiny amounts of resin. Desert Pores has joined us, saying hello to everyone. I was hanging out with Desert Pores last night on Monica's channel. <laughs> right? I'm pretty sure. Because Carrie was there, Nate was there, I was there. Jeannie popped in after I left. It was a crazy night, let me tell you. I was in bed laughing. That's why I came out here because those guys were cracking me up so bad. It was fun. It was fun to see her having a good time because she's been through a lot lately. You wanna um yes. Well, I was gonna show them some snap jewelry, but I think probably everybody that's in here knows about the snap jewelry. <laughs> I'm not saying it, Marie. I'm not reading that comment out loud. <laughs> no, <it's laughing. laughs> Oh, by the way, Mal, I found a kangaroo costume on Amazon for Alan. <laughs> oh, he says, I'm never going to live that down, huh? I won't pick on you about it, Mal. I already got you enough. I don't need to get you anymore. <laughs> says, I hate and love you all. <laughs> I love you too much to hurt your feelings. I won't say it out loud. <laughs> I love all my artist friends. They can be your best friend or your worst enemy that I'm finding out. Let me tell you, some of the stuff that people do to each other behind their backs is just amazing. Valerie Ritter has joined us. Hello, Valerie. Hi, Val. I don't have time for backstabbing and petty nonsense with artists. Um, if you don't like someone, you don't like them, but you don't have to try to make their life miserable either. I've had a few things done to me that I'm shocked, first of all, you know, like having that other artist tell me I suck. Well, you know what? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I don't go to your channel and tell you that you suck. You know, it's. I wouldn't do that. That's not who I am. So if you want to lower your standards and be that kind of person, then more power to you. But you're going to lose friendships in the, in the meantime, too. Molly's got a good point. She says, yes, we all need to be supportive. She can't go through all her comments as it is. No drama needed. Right. And that's like I watched Molly's video on the cabs, you know, the magnets. And someone had asked for a link um, to where to get the magnets. So I went into Molly's Amazon shop and I grabbed the link and I posted it for her. Because, you know, the girl had asked a few hours earlier and I thought, I'll just do that for her, save her some time. That's just what I would do. I, I mean, I'm not going to take my Amazon shop and post the link. That's not being supportive, you know. So I help everybody out as much as I can. Molly said that was so nice. You know I'd do it for you again, girl. I'm glad I'm getting these done because I was really uh, worried I wouldn't have these done for Monday night. <laughs> if I need them Monday night, if everybody can subscribe and... Hey. Help us get there, huh? I like that, Maria. 
She says, paint it forward. Paint it forward. Yeah, that's a good one. You need a t-shirt that says that. I need to find a color. I'd like to find a copper. Um, can you grab that? By the resin table, there's a big can of markers on the rack system there. You have to go around, honey. I might have a copper marker in there. Thanks, Mal. Here we go. Let's see if I have copper. Art by Kathleen is here. Hello, everyone. Hoping everyone's having a great day. Hello, Kathleen. Now, this one is a PBO. Don't ask me where I got this marker because I don't know. Desert Ford's got a question. Are those alcohol inks or acrylics? These are Perlex powders um, with the Shelly art technique. I think he's talking about the pens. Oh, these are um, paint pens, paint markers. This one is oil-based. Let's see how this one's going to work. I can find a good edge there. Oops, I need to clean the edge of that tile off first with my knife. As my papa would say. Get out your pocket knife. <laughs> Just getting that very edge of that resin off of there so that your marker can go closer to the edge and you don't have a funny lip. Makes tile smoother too for your customer. <clears throat> I'm a little anal when it comes to finish work. This marker is kind of hard. Maybe it'll soften up as it gets wet. I haven't used this one in a long time. I haven't done tiles in a long time. <laughs> now I have all these tiles and trivets. Oh my goodness. Desert Four says those are amazing. And Jill says she really likes how you are finishing the edges. Yeah, I didn't want to just slap cork on the back. You know, even though they don't look bad, there's no resin there or anything. But you still have the writing, which you could sand off. This sands off really super easy. Um, same with this middle part here. You could sand those letters out of there. But I just kind of think that little painted edge is nice. And now I have these little, um, for my sets, I bought these little wood boxes from Michael's um, to put the coasters in. So they can you know, have them on their coffee table or whatever. I thought about, you know, spray painting them and doing all that, but I leave it up to the customer. If they want me to paint it, I'll paint it. He does it for us. First, got my first thumbs down for a video and just laughed and said that I must be doing something right. <laughs> hey, you still got the view. Let's look at it that way. That's the way I look at it. They still came in and the view counts, so I just, I don't care. You can dislike my videos. I don't care. Doesn't bother me a bit. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> they can't dislike it without coming in, so. If you let every negative comment or thumbs down bother you, you would have you'd quit your YouTube channel within six months because... I've had some doozies. I've had videos that had no thumbs downs, and I love that, you know. I mean, I don't get a ton of views on my videos anymore like I used to because I'm not painting um, anything that's kind of popular, I guess. I'm just doing my thing like I always did, you know, teach along the way. Uh, I, need, I know I'm going to be changing up some stuff, and... Yeah, Molly's got a good point. It's still interaction. Just thank them and keep going. Yep. She says she gets so many thumbs down. It means YouTube is putting you in front of more people. Yeah. 
Every time you get all those views, it moves you up in the algorithm so that your videos, and it's not just that video, all your videos that are popular are there for people to come in and look at again. Like I've got videos from when I first started that I'm getting tons of views on and comments now. And it's like, wow, I haven't had that one come up in a while. JOTZ Designs is here. It says hi, hi. Hi, hi. All right. Art, Art by Catherine says she erased the thumbs down with the thumbs up. You're all good. <laughs> one for you and one for me. Yeah, now this um, cork backing is not the one that I have in my Amazon shop, but you can get this. Now, I buy it 500 on a roll like this, which was a lot bigger than that when I bought it, but um, you can get this on Etsy as well. Uh, and their name is Etna Fell, A-E and no, A-E-T-N-A -A Felt. And you can buy it in smaller rolls. It comes from Altoona, Pennsylvania. We drive right by the factory on our way to New York. I should just stop and say, hey, I need a roll. Maria just Clark. posted the link. Thank you, Maria. Uh, Doris said she did a challenge for Wiggles Art and shared it and got almost as many thumbs down as the thumbs ups. Isn't that something? Uh, I want to know what provokes a person to hit a thumbs down. If you don't like it, you're just like, I didn't like, I'm really care for that. So well, then why do you, I don't understand why they hit the thumbs down. We already know. If you don't like it, we already know because... You didn't give it a thumbs up. You didn't give it a thumbs up. <laughs> well, Dawn wants to know, are those cork backings pre-cut on the roll or is it yeah. just one big roll? No, they're pre-cut. Look. See, they're all pre-cut. So you just pop, pop them right off. That's what's nice about that. And it's really sticky. So it sticks really well. <laughs> She said that was her highest view video, Doris. <laughs> Probably because of wiggles, huh? When you do those collabs like that. I haven't done a collab with anybody super popular. Molly, we need to do a collab. <laughs> Molly's probably passed me. Have you hit your 80,000 yet? Because she was right on my tail yesterday. More power to her, too. She's awesome. Try and decide if I want to do copper or gold on that one. She said, not yet. She thinks in a few days. She'll be there before I will, probably. Doris said, Mike gave her a lot of exposure. Yeah, I like Mike. He's a good guy. He's Molly's, a... Molly's he, ready when you are. I have to do one with um, Jen Neal, too. I promised her that I would do a collab with her. And um, I got somebody else that was bugging me. I can't remember who it was. Not bugging me. I don't mean to say it like that. <laughs> Inquiring. Inquiring that if I would do a collab with them. Huh. I have quite a few, actually. I need to go through my emails. This is a different gold. This is um, Liquitex paint marker. Desert Porter says, highest viewed video is 71 and ecstatic about it. I've got one that's at 896,000 views that I'm really hoping gets a bump again so that I can get my million views on that. And then I have a lot of other ones that are like 400 and some thousand. And, and those are the paintings that I kept. Because in the very beginning, when they started getting a lot of views, I'm like, oh, I'm not selling that one. And those are the ones that I have. Thank God I didn't sell them. 
Doris was asking Molly, did, did she lose any subs from the YouTube cleaned yeah. house? Yeah, she and Molly did. said about 200, but she said the next day it was back up. Yeah. And I went in and looked um, into the analytics part of it. So you can't tell where they took them from, though. You know, like if they were from another country, they don't give you that rundown. I don't know if our vid IQ does that. No, I didn't look. Desert Poor says not 71K, just 71. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get there, honey. You'll get there. I started in October of 2017. And I had nine subs, I think, on December 1st. And then I don't know what happened. Something happened. One of my videos... Um, was seen and I know I did one that was um, rainbow color flip and drag which I sold that painting but that video took off like crazy and I started getting a ton of subs it was like um, you'd go to bed and have like 150 subs and get up and have like 325 so it was really quick to get my thousand subscribers but to get my watch hours took me till the end of january so that was all cool and once i got that once i got monetized it was like my channel just went crazy and getting the ten thousand subscribers in one month um totally blew my mind it was like i said to alan oh my god we're gonna get big and then we just started slowing down, which is fine with me. I don't mind slowing down at all. I'm not in it to win it, so to say. You know, I'm not one of these that, um, oh, she passed me. And, oh, that pisses me off. I'm not one of those. I don't care. More power to you. That's fantastic that you have a following like that. But I'm just telling you guys, don't rely on your YouTube income to live, period. Because... It changes overnight and acrylic pouring. If people get bored with you, they're going to go watch somebody else and you're going to lose all your revenue. Keep it fresh, you know, do some of the new stuff. Um, if you're brand new to pouring, don't teach because if something goes wrong, they're going to come back and say, well, you told me to do this and this didn't work. You know, don't you've got to have experience to be a teacher for sure. Um, I love the one, I'm like Jenny, I love the ones that say, um, I learned this on YouTube and this is how you should do it. And then it doesn't work. And um, Sheila Meal wants to know, she wants to know how you package the magnets or the jewelry. Um, if you're going to show that. She wanted to know. Jewelry I put in gift boxes. And then the magnets, I will probably put those in a gift box as well because I have the long bracelet boxes, but I also have um, little shorties. I have tons of jewelry boxes. I would probably wrap them in tissue. Those magnets aren't going to stick to each other back to back. They're going to um, try to go Repel each other. magnet on top of that glass face. So you want to wrap each magnet probably in tissue paper so you don't um, damage the glass. This one's really pretty. I like the sparklies in it. The sparklies. So you will um, wear your chisel tips down doing these, just like I wear my fingernails down pulling tape off. Maria says, it's not a regular Ziploc. It's a small sealable plastic bag and then put into a pretty box. Yeah, or one of those um, organza gift bags. Wrap it in tissue paper and put it in an organza gift bag. That would be pretty, too. You don't have to waste a gift box for a, a cheap little magnet, you know. I just have oodles and oodles and oodles left over from my jewelry business. And I still have jewelry, so I always have them. I have so much stuff in my upstairs for jewelry. In Maria's room? Yeah, Maria's <laughs> Maria's apartment. <laughs> what are we going to do with that when she moves in? <laughs> the day that we got swatted, 
after it was all over and the policemen come out to the garage with us to talk to us and go over a few things, I said, you guys didn't go upstairs, did you? And the one guy chuckled and he says, well, yeah. And I said, oh, there's a hoarder that lives up there. <laughs> Just to save face because I was so embarrassed because I know how much stuff is up there. That, you know, the stair steps is like the line of stuff that needs to go up. As soon as the stairs are full, then we start taking it all up there. <laughs> it's just too easy to go upstairs. We need a we need an elevator. Or... No, we don't need an elevator. We just we just need to finish the upstairs and have it be part of the house and feel like it's part of the house instead of just the upstairs. We have twelve hundred square feet upstairs that's unfinished. It's like a big basketball court. When we bought the house, I was like, oh, my gosh, look how big it is up here. It didn't take me long to fill it, did it? <laughs> 15 years. Well, of course, I have his brother's stuff here and his mother's stuff here. And Jacob's stuff is here from when he had his apartments, you know. So I have a lot of other people's stuff here. And then I have tons of Christmas decorations and yeah, it's all got to get purged. We need to just cut back and be minimalist for a little while. We need a place to put the extra canvas. No, it's not going up there. Lorena Hill is joining us. Hello, Lorena. Hi, Lorraine. Because if we can't put canvas up there because of the change in the temperatures, it would ruin the canvas. So that means all the canvas that we buy at the Jerry's um, Art and Carolina show has to stay out here in the barrage. Where are we going? Where are we going to put six to eight ca cases of canvas? <laughs> we went and priced a U-Haul, U-Haul uh, trailer to take. It was like fourteen ninety five a day. So we're trying to decide: do we want to drop the trailer while we're there? No, we need to take it. I've been thinking about that. Or keep, keep it. it. Yeah, we need to keep it because I think what we're going to do is take a uh, shoe rack with us. And take paintings in there and let them cure in the trailer after they're dry. So we have three days of curing at least before we come home. And they won't all stick together. So we'll see how that works out for us. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to say the very least. How many days? 196. Something in there. Maria, official count? She's got the ticker on the page. Oh, this one's really light. Oh, it does have gold in it, though. You can do that. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Um, I figured I'd just turn the camera on. If you guys have questions about other stuff, I can answer that, too. You know, about paint. And yeah, I appreciate it, too. Got me out of doing some manly work. It's always tomorrow. <laughs> you better hope it rains tomorrow. No, actually, you got the bushes done. That was the only thing I was worried about. I got someone peeking in. It's Mister. Sounds We're live. Are you? Yeah. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> My youngest is over here. So let's see. What do we got coming up? Auction on November 10th. So I'm going to do um, paintings, jewelry, and I have a few sets of coasters. Uh, the jewelry, I'll, I'll be doing a preview video, but the jewelry that I'll have available is what's in my, some of it from my Etsy shop. And I may throw a couple of snap sets in there because people are looking for stuff for Christmas right now. And I wanted to get that in there before December, but I may do another small auction in December. Uh, like before the 14th so we can get that stuff shipped out in time for Christmas. And I can ship it right to wherever you want to give it to for Christmas, too. With a gift card or whatever. You know, with a card. He just has to let me know before I box it. 
Okay, Molly's off to dinner. Bye, Mel. Bye, Thanks Molly. for coming. Maria said 195 days, 14 hours, 59 minutes, and five seconds. <laughs> I think my marker's taking a poop. Uh, she looks like she just started pouring first time the last three days and everything's gotten thrown out. She thinks her paint is too thin or is she doing something wrong and can't figure it out? She said she knows it takes time. Suggestions? Um, Watch my paint mixing video. Make sure your paint's not too thin. You want it to mound a little bit, you know, when you pull your stick up. You can also do the test where you run your finger through to see if it stays apart or comes together. Um, I'm not sure what paints you're using or what mediums you're using. That can make a difference in your results as well. Jet says, Sheila, pour over them if you don't like them. Don't throw them out. Yeah, wash them. If you use silicone, just take a, a wet washcloth with Donja soap and wash them off and then rinse them off. And then um, clean them off with alcohol really well. You can put a coat of gesso over them so that your paint, the next layer of paint that you put on won't crack. So that the gesso will act as a, like a glue type thing that the paint can bind to. Sometimes paint over paint does not bind well, and you'll get cracking. It all depends um, how thick your paint was on the first pass, so on the first painting. This bit marker's dying. Cindy Johnson's here. She says she's been watching while she's been playing, but it's not feeling very good. A lot of people have got... I, we went to the doctor the other day for Alan, for his recheck, and the doctor said... It, there's a lot of viruses going around that aren't the flu. He's already had several flu cases, but... That day he had five. He had five people. One was, and one was flu, but the other four was some kind of virus that is going around. That they're running a fever and not feeling well. and So I think a lot of it, too, if you eat out, you know, people go to work sick because they need the money. So you're eating that food that they're touching, which to me right now is probably my cutoff time where we won't be eating out for the winter because I'm afraid I'll get the flu. Carrie's Musings just joined us and surprise live. Surprise live. Yes, I was doing magnets and I did. I used all that paint that was in that tube. Tammy Verba is here. Hope I pronounced hey, that Tam right. Verba. Um... What else was I going to talk about? I'm going to be bringing a few new things to the channel. You know, like I was talking about earlier, the tumblers. You'll see a little more resiny things, but it's, it's not going to be an all-the-time thing. We're still going to pour paint because that's what my channel is about. And... We will uh, give you some other things to try. Some people might want to get away from pouring and go into something else. So alcohol inks, it's a very long process for a video. I mean, you know, for me to do a video, I have to do a fast forward. Um, unless you just want the basics of how to move alcohol ink around, but... It's just easier for me to just sit and play with ink. And my first one was a complete mess. But I've been watching and learning more. And my first one, I ran out of alcohol in my little squeezer bottle. So I was just housing with my big jug. <laughs> but I did intentionally do that big flower with the jug because I wanted to soften it because it was the petals were so harsh someone told me she said you ruined it when you did that and i to me i thought it looked better <laughs> we are our worst critics aren't we so carol, but it was fun carol caskey's homesick nose is running Aww. feeling yucky sounds like she needs chicken noodle soup yeah angela's husband's sick too i don't like when people get sick
I hate when Alan gets sick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you would think somebody was dying in the bedroom. Right, um, baby? No, you don't. When you get the flu, though, you are down. He, his fevers are horrible. I did get my flu shot. Yep. I don't get one because I don't go out. So I figure as long as he's got one, I'm good. <laughs> the last time he got the flu, he was already, what, four days in? And I started getting sick and he went to the doctor and got Tamiflu and gave it to me so that I wouldn't get sick. <laughs> And actually, it worked. I was only sick for like maybe three days. And I wasn't sick sick. It was just kind of a, ugh. So that worked out good. But we were talking to the doctor about it the other day. He has not said a word to me about getting a flu shot. We talked about medications. And he just gives me this look like, well, I can't talk him into taking that. Well, I can't talk him into taking that. She's not going to let him. <laughs> So, yay, the doctor's office. It's so much fun. I don't go back till January, so I don't worry about anything until the week before. But I've got that pneumonia shot. Let me tell you something, guys. If you're over 50 and you've gotten that shot, I don't know if they put it too deep in my muscle or if they hit it between my muscle and my bone. But I could not move my arm for two weeks. Two weeks. I was having an awful time filming because when you go to bring your canvas up, that's all the farther I could go. So I couldn't like tilt. I was whining to the doctor. I'm like, what did you, what did she do to me? <laughs> Let's try some glue on this one. Yeah, you almost got a visit with him for no cost. Because you went with me. I did. He did give me a refill while I was there. Oh, you need to go pick up your meds. I need to Okay. Maybe I'll go with you so I can get out of the house just for a little bit. Amy Verba says she's had a few people tell her to get onto YouTube, but she says that's just not me. Plus, I only get maybe three paintings done in a week. Three paintings in a week, dude. It's quite a bit. Yeah, it is. So all you need is three videos a week. I There's some girls, they do one a week. Um, doing one a week would give you time to let it dry, you know, and show the finished piece. I just don't have time for that. I really don't. So Terry's Musings wants to know, what are you using on that ceramic tile? Uh, these are paint markers. This one is... Um, Oh, where did I get these? I think these were the ones that I got on Amazon. These might be in my shop. These aren't the oh hoo hoo markers. These aren't paint markers. These are they these are paint markers, but the oh hoo hoo's are not paint markers. And I have those put away. I, I always keep stuff like that put away so when Nate comes he can play with it because I don't I don't play with it. I don't embellish like he does. But he's not coming till next year, so. His new job has kept him too busy to. It's interrupting his life, but he needs to work, so. If we just didn't have to work, you know? He's been through a lot this year. I don't have a problem with him at all. Not being able to come to the retreat. And I totally get it. He's got to work. He'll come visit us in November next year and spend a week. And boy, will I get a lot done because we won't have an auction and we won't have the Jerry. Sh well, actually, we will have the Jerry show. <laughs> but the auction and um, him losing his luggage and all that stuff really put a kibosh on our week that time. So. Didn't you say you had another package delivering today? Yeah, um, Hobby Lobby canvas is supposed to be coming today. FedEx. So the winter line paints will be getting mixed this week. 
So we will have, I believe I'm going to have five pearls that I'll be releasing. And white will be one of them because someone had requested a white pearl. So I will have those um, batches done and the first sets of ready to pours, ready to go, jars as well. Latin boy, when we introduced our fall line, <laughs> I couldn't keep up, you guys. Everybody went crazy over that yellow, which was cool because I love that yellow too. So I um I want to be ahead on the winter ones for sure. I'm not sure how many people like pastel pearl colors, but a lot of women like pastel colors. What's in this box from the Zen? I don't know. I wasn't expecting a package from Amazon today. This was there yesterday when on Halloween. Huh? Has it ha it's, oh, it's glue. Heavy. <laughs> it's glue. <laughs> yeah, I didn't open it because I knew what it was. I do have a package coming from the Zon tomorrow. I know it's it's I swear to God, my UPS man. Loves you to death. He does. He loves me. He actually loves me, but <laughs> I have a different guy. I have like three different guys. And they always say to me, how are you today? Are you tired today like you were yesterday? Or are you tired like you were last week if it's been a week since I've seen him? And um, it kind of makes me laugh because they remember. Um, no, I don't glue that. It's um, adhesive. It already has the adhesive on it. And let me tell you, it you can't get them off. <laughs> it's all going to break apart if you try to get them off. And that is from Etna Felt. I didn't, I don't think that Etna Felt is on Amazon. I think I already looked because I would have had that in my shop already. But they are on Etsy. <laughs> Last coaster. And I have um, those six by six tiles that I did with Tammy Anderson on a collab. <clears throat> those are going to have to have cork cut and glued on those. Because I don't have six inch corks. So I have not made the phone call to Del Tile yet. <laughs> I'm still going to call about crafters coasters is what I want them to call them. Maybe they can get into Michael's or someplace like that and sell um, ceramic tile. But I would rather they get in like with Amazon where it would be cheaper. Because Michael's is going to triple the price. Michael's is definitely overpriced for sure. That's why they can run 70%. Sales. Well, that's why I wait and I use every coupon I can and get it as cheap as I can. We were there, was it last weekend? I had a 60% off coupon. And they actually had a gallon of um, Liquitex pouring medium, so I got it for 40 bucks. Cindy Delamere is leaving. Says thanks. Been watching all afternoon on phone, or the phone is almost dead. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I know. I watched Monica for a long time last night. My iPad almost died. Crazy kids staying up till all I wee know. hours of the morning. I'm not talking to you. Oh, <laughs> me. I was like, I'm not a kid. I'm 58 years old. <laughs> 
I might act like a child sometimes, but that's because I've been around little kids too long. You need some grandbabies. I need more grandbabies. My grandbabies are all older now. Goodbye, Kathy. Thanks for joining. Bye, Kath. Doris wants to know, are those four by four cork or the three and three quarter by three and three quarter ones? Uh, these are four by four cork because these tiles are four, what did we say they were? Four, four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Square. Yeah, because it, with the rat, with the, the uh, height on the edges here, I know a lot of girls cut their cork to fit all the way to the edge, but if you really look at a tile, you have a rise here and then you don't. So in order for that cork to stick, you'd have to glue the entire edge to have that cork stick there. And that's why I like the cork here because it, it will stick right on this raised ledge here. And this is gonna be left open. Done, Rudy. She says she has to get ready for her son Rudy's birthday today. So, ah, sweet. Catch the live. I'm glad you guys came and hung out with me. I got some stuff done and got to chit chat with you. I wasn't alone out here being sad. So that's it. That's the last one. Yay. Although I got to fix that one now. I'm not going to give up on trying to get that gold off there, though, before I have to re resin. <laughs> there. So we have 11 tiles ready to go. was the one. I don't know. My resin is still just a week old, so it's like I don't want to monkey with it too much. I know if I use alcohol, it's just going to... So for those that just joined us, what is the issue? I was using a paint pen and it overflowed onto this and went up under my tile. So now I have to figure out if I want to just sand this and flood coat it again, or if I want to make the attempt to get that paint marker off of there without ruining the resin. because I don't have anything else that needs to be resined right now for a change. <laughs> I usually have a pile of stuff that needs to be resined. I got all caught up this week. I just, I'm not going to use nail polish remover because that will definitely eat the resin. Because of course, as you can just send it to me as is. I mean, it's not like it's not really that noticeable. It's right here. Doris says 91% alcohol on a towel and rub hard. I am rubbing hard. I wonder if a magic eraser would take it off. I will leave a mark though if I use a magic eraser. Yeah, because that paint marker is like Rust-Oleum, is like that Montana can stuff, because I could probably refill that paint marker with that stuff. You know, it's funny because this alcohol is not ruining the resin, so it must have cured long enough. Oh. 
I think just a little elbow grease and some patience, I could probably get that off of there. Dora says she does that when she gets paint on the backs and a tiny bit gets on the front. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing some more of these Shelly Art Technique coasters for sure. I did a bunch of canvases, a bunch of 6 by 6 canvases that will be in the auction. I did keep one. I always keep one. And Ro then... Roxy Cole says she believe it doesn't look that bad. It's coming off. It is. Just a little bit at a time. And I am using 91% alcohol. With a Viva paper towel, so it won't scratch it, that's for sure. <laughs> See, I've tried that, Doris, where I've used alcohol on it before, and that's coming off the back, guys. Don't worry about that. Um, and it left like a film that I could not get off no matter how hard I tried. I ended up having to sand and re-pour. I used everything on that, trying to get that film off. But I think too, that was when I was using the countertop epoxy and not the art coat. So it might be a difference, not sure. So I, I talked, I watched Mike's um, shower install on Stone Coat yesterday. And they were using this little handheld router, not anything like the one that I bought you. So I sent Mike a message last night. I'm like, hey, boss, I need that router. <laughs> Pretty much Ellen needs that router to work on our MDF for us. And, uh, he says, you're not bothering me. He says, get the DeWalt. It's better. Well, that's not the one I want. I want the one he was using with his hand. But I went and I looked at the DeWalt, and it's pretty much the same thing as the orange one. But Home Depot has this deal where you can get a sheet sander with the router for $99. Or you can buy just the router for $99. That's how they get you. So then I went to, um, that was for the rigid one. So then I went over to the Lowe's website and I looked there and the DeWalt router is $138. So we're going to have to wait and see if we can get one cheaper. I won't spend more than $100 on that tool, that's for sure. Uh, Tammy Durba says, I'm 58 and they wouldn't give her the pneumonia shot. She was told that she had to be 60. No, I'll, I won't get my booster until 65, so... And she says she's going in five months since she quit smoking. And she's happy about Good. that. Good. Congratulations. That's a very hard feat to beat, that's for sure. Uh oh. Maria's going to be gone for a minute. She said the cat, got to feed the kitties. They're circling like sharks. <laughs> I bet they do, too. <laughs> I think she has four now. Is it four? she's got Magoo now. Magoo and Bella and Tink. I don't know what the other one's name is. No, she said five. Five? <laughs> All right, I need names now. I sent them a uh, catnip box. What was the name of that box, Maria? <laughs> Anyways, she posted a video. The cats were sitting, Bella was sitting on top of the box waiting for Maria to open it. <laughs> Because it was full of catnip. <laughs> I did get it off, guys, and it did not. It did not leave any marks. Okay, so feline sharks are a vicious species. Yes, they are. Uh, Maria says Magoo, Daddy Cat, Tinker, Bella Marie, and Rosalina. Oh, I forget about Rosalina, and I remember Daddy Cat now after you said that. All right, so I'm going to use this one instead. I'll just darken it up a little bit. I just want to be done with these. I'm good. I got one box of magnets done. That'll 
I'll work on the other ones watching Walking Dead tomorrow night. <laughs> and I need to put a video up for tomorrow, guys. So I will definitely have to film something tonight for tomorrow. You don't have one? No. No. I can't film when everybody's calling here during the day. And the phone's ringing after they've been told not to call here while I'm working. You know, this is my job. Don't call me while I'm at work. I'm not talking to you, Alan. I'm talking to everybody. <laughs> Although I do get phone calls from some of my viewers. Um payments and stuff and we get to chatting which is fine i love to chat with my girls my girls my girls i chat with maria it's a three hour four hour seminar. phone call <laughs> it's a seminar <laughs> well there, we have so much to say that you just can't type in messenger you know so when we get on the phone we're just And we talk about what we're going to, you know, do new in the group. And she's been the best running that group and taking care of business for me while she's trying to run her own business. And, and the group continues to grow. Yeah, the group is growing. I don't want it to get too big where people get lost, though. That's why I said, you know, if you're subscribed to my channel, come join our group. I don't want, I mean, I've been in groups just this past week where the nastiness is starting again. And it's like, can you not just be nice? You know, people come in and show you their art. You don't have to be mean. They're just looking for constructive criticism. They don't want you to say, oh, that looks like shit. You know, that's Oof. that. Yeah. Oof. Oof, whatever. That's not what they want to hear. And that's just mean and nasty. Terry, Terry's Museum says those are acrylic paint markers? Yes. Well. You used one that was oil. -based. Yeah. This one's oil-based, too, I believe. Yeah, oil-based. Sharpie. And then um, the ones from CraftSmart are uh, oil-based as well. The black. Sheila wants to know, do you have to treat the tiles before you paint on them for the coasters? I don't. I just wipe them off with alcohol. Some people sand them and spray paint them, but I don't. You just, if As long as you're gentle cleaning them before you resin or... And let them cure. Yeah, you got to let them cure. They got to cure for two to three weeks. Three weeks. Two weeks at the very least because um, it's not canvas, but the paint still has to emit its chemicals out and dry and cure. But um, I would say, you know, two weeks from the time that it's dry before you touch that. And then if you have used silicone, um, I put them in a baby powder bath. And I use a tray like this, and I put um, a pad on there and just... Lay them all in there like this and just douse them with baby powder and let them set for a few days, sometimes weeks, whatever I have time to get to them. Um, take them out of the baby powder, wipe them off like that. Um, spritz them with water very gently with a paper towel, soft paper towel. Take off all that baby powder and get it all nice and clean. And then I use um, a very soft microfiber cloth with alcohol and just do a very quick wipe off where the silicone was. Most of the times when you do tiles, your edges will skip here. Um, you'll get, you'll bring it out and you go, oh, that's pretty. And then you tilt it and you can see where the edge still needs resin. Don't worry about it. Take some sandpaper, sand it off really quick. You know, do little circles or whatever. Make sure you get the edges just a little bit. Um, put another coat of resin on there and make sure you're level. That's the most important part when doing coasters because if you're still tilted, you're still going to be bare. Um, with canvas and resin, though, um, I always prop the middle up with cardboard so that it flows over the sides. 
Terry so, never saw those before. What's that? Terry's musings. The tiles, I think. These? I think she's talking about this paint, painting. This is the Shelley art technique that everybody paid to take their course uh, from Australia. I paid. I have, oh, I think I have nine six by six canvases. Actually, I want to show you one of them. Now that I can walk around this way. So I think, Terry's question, can you use them? I think she's referring to markers to write on a pouring uh, on canvas. I don't see why not. So I did this one on cradle board. So I still have to um, do the side yet, but this one is all varnished. Now this isn't any, this is beginning stuff. This isn't like the stuff like, like this look that everybody's going for, this sellage look. These are my first ones. So that's why I'm gonna have them in my auction because I still have a lot of um, practice to do to get that technique down. I have not done it in weeks. Um, these were these tiles were probably the last time that I did it, and that was weeks ago. So these tiles right here are at least a month old. So they are ready to go. Um, the resin I did on here is. 10 days, maybe, maybe two, maybe two weeks. So by the time we auction these off next weekend and get them shipped, they should be fine and be ready to have a coffee cup set on them. That's a beginning pour in that style. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was my beginner's, beginner's luck, I should say. But I got a lot of them. They'll, they'll be in the auction. Desert pour says auction. What auction? What I miss? Uh, November 10th at 8 p.m. I'll be doing a preview video this week. I'm going to varnish tomorrow. Well, this is November 9th. Huh? November what? 9th is a Saturday. Right. Yep. She corrected it. November 10th. Yeah. And you know what? I didn't even think about that, Maria, when I scheduled that. That Walking Dead is on at, ten, at 9. <laughs> Kim Collins wants to know, does Jerry's ever sell the creative inspirations acrylic polymer medium and varnish without the four item minimum requirement? No, no, not unless you're going to go to the show. And I, you know, I don't even remember. Did we have to buy four at the show last year? I don't think so. I think they were just selling it for like $12 a jug. And I went to the store afterwards and bought more stuff, but. Yeah, you have to buy four. So I always tell everybody if you're going to order, um, especially the paint, always add two white. You use the most of the white. And that is the only white that I use is the Creative Inspirations white. But I do add, um, for base coat, no, just flow trial. But for painting, I add a pouring medium to it. So well, Terry said she never saw the markers before. They're kind of hidden at Michael's, you know. Little yeah, they're cabinet. they're high. They're hanging at if you're in the craft aisle where the paints are, they're hanging up by the stencils. I think most of ours are in the, uh, the clearance aisle. You can get them online too. I love shopping on Michael's when everything in your cart is forty percent off. I go a little crazy when that happens. Question, you probably missed this, but what kind of varnish or resin did you use that must be water slash heat proof? Trying the, to find some, but want to make sure that you can this hold is, a hot mug. This is the Stone Coat. I'm an affiliate for them, and it's the only resin that I use. KS Resin has, once again, asked me to be affiliate, and I told them no. <laughs> um, I did get an email from them yesterday. KS resin. They want me to be an affiliate for them, and I can't do that. I'm I'm Stone Coat girl all the way. I've been with Mike for 
over two years, and I don't plan on changing that. Well, actually, it's been almost two years. Can they get that in your shop so you get credit for the purchase? Um, yeah, I do have a stone coat um, countertop epoxy in my Amazon shop. If you don't want to go to Stone Coat's website um, and spend $95 to get $10 off, um, you can buy it through Amazon if you just want to get the half-gallon kit for, I think it's $55. And they do charge shipping. So, But this is the best resin that I've worked with. Nice job, Alan. Show, no, I want you to show them what you did. So, Kathy Carr sent us these squeezies to try on the channel. I'm um, doing a, like a balloon smash. So, Alan's been sitting here squeezing. <laughs> it looks like a zit. And it blew up in his hand. Oops. How are you going to get that off my leather chair? What is it? It's like. Oh, it's not hard to get it off. Well, you, you owe Kathy a video on a squeeze ball because she didn't even get to do the video yet. Here, wipe your hands off. And don't get it on my tiles. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were stress balls. Well, I think you were a little too stressed there, buddy. <laughs> so if you guys don't have any more questions, I'll let you slide and... You'll have fun on your Saturday evening. Yeah, I know, Brian. And we wanted to show you this, Brian, because it was, I was going to tell you, it, feel, it felt like a boob. <laughs> it was that soft. You should have been squeezing that hard green one over there. So if you have any questions about what we did today with the magnets and the... Um, cleaning the, the coasters or anything that you might have come in late on... Feel free to email me at christinawalchart at yahoo.com. And if you want to try our ready-to-pour paints or uh, the pigment in the jars, um, all that information is available in the group, the Paraj Posse, on Facebook. Or you can email me at christinawalchart at yahoo.com. And I'll send you the um, color chart with the pricing info. Uh, we try to use it um, every Monday night. And I always try to use at least a few of those colors um, in my videos so that you can see how they work. Brian does tons of videos with our paint. So check out Brian's Spontaneous Creations by Brian. He's awesome. It came off pretty easy. Yeah, I don't think it was anything that was like caulk or anything. It came off pretty easy. So um, thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. And we'll be live again Monday at 9 p.m. So come hang out. Hopefully, if we hit our 80,000, we'll be doing our um, 80,000 subscriber giveaway. So we have some great prizes for that. And uh, like I said, questions, feel free to uh, email me. and uh, Or you can check me or send me a message through the group. Or, or post in the group and it'll get answered by someone within usually the first 10, 15 minutes, sometimes quicker than that. Our girls are great. So have a good Saturday night and I'll see you on Monday. Love you all. Bye now.